I'm pulling up a lot of the, the uh, dark side of me, but I'm also looking at the guys to my left and to my right, realizing that uh, we're here together, man. And I have, to, uh, I have to be strong for them. And they gotta be strong for me. A lot of people, either you like me or don't, even in the SEAL team, but when you get to that door or you get on that mission or you get an op, all that shit's out the door, man. You know, you you do it honestly. I mean, people say all the time in these movies and shit, you, you, you really out there fighting for that guy beside you. And you can't be a coward. Because you know what? And this is how I look at everything I do now in life. And this sums it up. I hated jumping out of airplanes. I hated shooting guns. I hated the job as a Navy SEAL but I did it because I wanted to change myself. Everything I do, I'm not really comfortable doing. But if you choose to go that route, to go be a Navy SEAL, you might as well go be the hardest motherfucker in the world. Because if you're choosing to do something, you have two routes. You can go there and be a little, a little weak person and get through barely, and that's your reputation. Or you can go through the hardest guy you can possibly be, and that's your reputation. So my whole thing is, if you're gonna choose to open that fucking door in Iraq or Afghanistan, open the motherfucker and go in hard. Because they're gonna remember you by slowly opening it and peeking in. So if you're gonna open it, and you made the mind to open it, don't crack it open. Open the fucking door and go in, that's with life. If you're choosing to do, if you're choosing to do something, attack it. Because they're gonna remember you as not attacking. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but one thing you can't say about me, I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're gonna do something, might as well attack it. Cause you can do it anyway. It still works for me in, in life as far as attacking things. Because uh, no matter what I wanna, you know, no matter what avenue I choose, I wanna be the very best. And the very best may not be I'm number one. The very best is, did I leave everything inside of me out there? So attacking is not like, oh, I wanna win this or win that or be the best. The best is, I'm, I'm, I'm running against myself and everything I do. And, and, that's, and that's what I attack. I attack myself. I'm always questioning myself. I'm always holding myself accountable. So the accountability mirror is something that I kinda came up with in high school. Like I said, I started shaving my head when I was 16. Mm -hmm. And I got caught up in trying to impress so many people because no one liked me. So I developed so many different identities. Let me sag my pants. You know, let me, okay, let me pull my pants up. Let me, let me talk this way or act this way or be this way or, or whatever the hell it may be. God, dog, there's so many different things I did to try to fit in with so many different groups that when you look in the mirror, that's the one person you can't lie to. So every morning I would shave my head thinking, God, I would reflect back on some of the lies I may have told somebody or some of the ways I acted that I didn't feel comfortable doing. And I did it to impress other normal people. The key word there is normal, everyday people. I was trying to make other people like me. How pathetic is that? So I, th this mirror would always tell me, my, my, like my reflection would say, God, you are a pathetic man. How does that feel every day to be this way? So I would just start having myself accountable. How, how did I attack today? How did I attack yesterday? And if I didn't do something I was proud of, I'd write down a sticky note and I would fix it. 